Hello and welcome to tell everyone where we are, Mazzy, this beautiful place. Port Patrick. How did you know that? Oh, I saw the signs as we came <laughs> in. <laughs> Port Patrick. <laughs> We're at Port Patrick now. Um, uh, the stress of the driving on these roads is getting to me today so we're not gonna do much yeah. more well to be fair we ha we've driven lots today got into a couple of places where then we couldn't actually stop and do what we wanted to do and go so nowhere see to something. park single track so, roads yeah, and all that a lot of wasting driving today yes. but hey ho we're at port Patrick. we're, we're port gonna Patrick. Sort, uh, enjoy our day today so we actually came here <sighs> we were thinking of going up to dunsky castle yeah. which is up the steps on top of that hill 12 minute walk um but i think i've decided we're just going to go around port patrick we did say we'll do port, port, port patrick and then see how we feel afterwards yeah but i'm guessing we won't both walk. not up for it are we <laughs> <laughs> it's all the way up the top again about uh, 100 200 steps by the looks of it <laughs> so i'm sure i saw what looked like a nice bakery around the corner so we sh might be able to get Bagging. something fresh yeah i'd love to go and treat myself today <laughs> i think there's a coolish kind of churchy graveyardy thing not sure Brilliant. but yeah we'll just have a little wander around town we haven't been around the town for ages it's um, only a little village it's not a big big town as such no no it? nice little place yeah now I'm going to go straight into screenshots. Screenshots. Let me put it on you there. Well, no, I need it on you for the first one. Okay. The first one is from David. Yep. Thank you very much, David Allerston. Mazzy should be careful putting a seatbelt on when she's wearing a waxed jacket. Wax will rub off onto the seatbelt and then transfer back onto other clothes. Ooh, An expensive mistake I've made before. So. interesting thank you for that tip yeah i do appreciate that i think i wore it once in the driver's seat haven't i he must have seen yeah. you doing it so yeah it might ruin your other you clothes you can actually feel like the fresh wax on there yeah. i was wondering that myself actually by putting it into my wardrobe whether it was then going to smudge onto my other clothes it quite possibly could but especially yeah, if it's wet yeah yeah it was kind of wet when i first got it so thank you for that big tip uh Doug B, here in Western Canada, we don't like the deer coming into our gardens. Boo! Boo! <laughs> Why not though? I don't know, but he also says he doesn't like the bears or cougars either. What? That is my dream? To have deers, <laughs> bears and cougars coming in my garden? Oh, I'd love it. Can you imagine? Can you imagine love me? That. We, well, we would, oh, I'd be yeah. making them little dens and houses and all yeah. sorts. <laughs> not now, lucky you are. <laughs> um, I want to watch this. Hello High Water apparently is the best hardly heard of Western. What's that got to do with it, Well, anything? it's just in my screenshots. I'm going through my screenshots. Oh, okay. And the last one is just uh, as insurance is coming up. Ew, got the email to Got the email. <laughs> it's gone up another 200 quid. Every year yeah. it goes up. Yeah. I always thought with your insurance, if you didn't claim, it went down. Mm. Getting screwed a bit, aren't we? Yeah, I feel like we are. What is it now? It's well, 16. we're doing it monthly this time. Yeah, we've never ever had the option before, no. which is strange. And because we're doing it monthly, there's a little bit of interest on there, so it's actually about sixteen hundred and eighty pounds. Yeah. And for all you people who are going to suggest go somewhere else, do no. this, do that. No. no, this is the only company who will full timers. Who will insure full time yeah. motor homerists. And we're not willing to take that risk. We're staying with yeah. we're doing it right. We've been with them for years. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> uh I was reading in the yeah. I, I read all the small print. Yeah. You ready for this one? Yeah. The policy holder and any additional drivers Yeah. Uh, Basically, you're not allowed to have been convicted of any non motoring offences within the last five years. For example, right. theft, fraud, drink, drug related offences. Wow. So, if I've got done for stealing a jacket mm. and I've gone to court, I'm not covered. How ridiculous is that? Good job we are then, isn't it? <laughs> no, good job we haven't been done in the last five years for any of them things. I just thought that were a bit weird. Yeah, that's a bit strange. Right. 
Are you ready? Let's go I'm do ready. Party Patrick. Yeah, let's go and do this. Ignore the fact it's really cloudy and misty and gloomy today. <laughs> it's a beautiful little place. It is. Got yeah. this like natural beach type area. Uh, you've got your harbour a bit there. You've got a mini lighthouse. Oh, we have been here before because have we've we? been in that shop there. What, light, lighthouse pottery? Lighthouse pottery. It was a really nice gift shop. It looks like it's closed down now. I've got to admit, I don't remember this place. But... Yeah, you loved it. You loved it Did in I? there. Did I? We got something in there and I can't remember what it was. I just saw a lovely quadrant come flying soon. Over Massive here. one, yeah. Yeah. We can definitely <laughs> smell chips. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. I hope there is one here because I said I'm going to take a bag of chips home. <laughs> well, this is something we did wrong last time. What? I think you had a bad leg and we're walking on here. Yeah. And it's a big drop. You have oh, to go yeah. down the steps. What, and walk on the road? Well, you cross the road, Mazzy. You cross the oh. road. Yeah. <laughs> Hold me hand. Nice looking um, hotel there, isn't it? I have a house hotel pub. Yeah. Where's that smell coming from? <laughs> well, we can't go into the church as such. No. It's, there's a sign saying keep out, unsafe. Um, but we have been here before, Mazzy can't remember I it. It's so think annoying. It was with me. I it think was. It's just on your own. It was because he took me into that gifty shop, pottery place, and bought something. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So, yeah, we can't even look at it, which I'm a bit gutted about. I remember the ivy. And it's a weird, really weird place because it's like on a housing estate. <laughs> yeah. This is nice though. Do you ever remember this being blocked off when you were here? No, it was definitely not blocked off. No. I don't know if we should be in here, Mazzy. There's not much really to see, but there you go. Yeah, that's it. Let's get out of here. <laughs> the reason I'm saying it is there's someone streaming down the bottom and on the gate it says keep out. Uh, but... <laughs> can't keep you out of the graveyard surely I'm sure it means just in the castle yeah, but I think they just mean there because it's fenced off yeah oh well never mind it's gonna turn into one of them days isn't no, it no it's not hey, you stop that yeah but we could smell fish and chips and we can't find them no the bakery turned out not to be a bakery it was a yeah. sit down place yeah <laughs> I remember it now <laughs> she remembers it because yeah. we went in here and it's full of all these strange and you almost had to queue up to get in because it only fitted like one person at a time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Smugglers Cove, it's shut. Look at the diet. They're, they're not real, are they? Shut up, Daniel. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but I do remember when we came then, I think the weather was a lot nicer, wasn't it? I'm sure of I it. I can't remember. I'm sure of it. Pretty. Quite pretty. Water's an unusual colour, it's, isn't it? As I said earlier, it's turning more greeny turquoise yeah. now. Yeah. Really peaceful. So, I big building, sorry, up there, look. I think that's a hotel. I've Isn't got it? a feeling it used to be anyway. I'm not mm. sure. We've got a lifeboat station there. Oh, you can get onto the middle. Yeah. Just noticed that. So at the top there, you've got a Scottish flag and a, an anchor. I don't think we've ever done that. <laughs> don't I? <laughs> we, I don't know. We, when we were here, I'm, it, it might... It wouldn't have been summer, though. We wouldn't have yeah, come no, in summer. Yeah, I know, maybe we were just having a nice day, though. I mean, last week we had lovely, gorgeous weather, didn't we? In the middle of September. I just so. seem to remember it was more like everything was open and it was like seaside -y. Yeah, And it yeah. don't feel like that today. It feels yeah. like everything's shut down. <laughs> OK. I don't like to put places down at all. Um, but this isn't half as good as it was when we were here last time. Yeah. And I think we've realised it's because, like every car park, there's no overnighting, no motorhomes at night, all that stuff. Yeah. There's a height barrier on the top car park, which is where we must we have stayed last park. time. Yeah. So they're not letting anyone stay overnight. And all the shops and things we went in last year, they're all either closed or 
dead. There's no one in them. It was a lot later in the year as well. And yeah, I remember like it, November. Because I remember the place now. We were talking on the way back. Mm. And I got um, her a voodoo doll. And the place was buzzing. Mm. I mean, the tourists here was really, really good. There were a lot of people and now yeah. there's hardly anyone here. Yeah. It's a shame, really. Well, Unless you know, that's how the locals want well, it and then that's fair enough, isn't it? They've chosen it to be like that, haven't they? Mm. So... Still yeah. a beautiful place. Yeah, it is, yeah. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's a car drone, I think. It's deep in the water there. I thought it was a seal. Yeah, a beautiful place, and there is the Dunsky Castle up there. But we had a much better time last time we were here. I think we stayed a couple of days. And there is a hotel. Where is it? Lost it. It's up there somewhere. There's a hotel behind that lot. Um, and we sat outside and had a meal, so it must have been a sunny day, but it was November. Right, we've got a bit of food, just junky stuff as just usual. Junk. Uh, two, <laughs> two uh, pasties. What are they? Chicken curry. curry slices, I think. I've never had the chicken curry slice. Excellent. Yeah. And a cheap pizza. Yeah. <laughs> we can I've eat got, what we want. I've got to have a bite now, though. It's not going to be enough to fill me, though, Mazzy. I'm still going to want chilli and rice or something. I still want fish and chips. <laughs> this is our stopover this evening, we think. <laughs> Look at that bull there. Yeah, is that a bull? Yeah. Oh, my God. Keep going. Just keep going. <laughs> so this is like a stopover for the night. We're just following this guy down here. Just so happened to be going in at the same time. It's an airstrip, he said. It is an abandoned airstrip. It is an air. Yeah, which is cool. And from what I've read, it's either ten pound or fifteen pounds. Not sure which yet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's gonna have to let us in again. Bless him. This guy's opening gate. Oh, for his is he? Friend, but He's letting no, us no. Well, he's best just jumping in his van and we'll shut it. Look at the puppies ones here. Look. Oh, yeah. oh. Which gate was it? This one here, and you'll have to shut it because of the sheep. This one, wasn't it? Yeah. I just saw the sign, honey. Ten pound a night, or five pound just to use the facilities. Right. So that's pretty good, actually. If we can fill up with water and get rid of his grey waste. Yeah, and yeah. toilets as well. Yeah, can't complain. We have arrived. Perfect little spot. I like it. Look at this. <laughs> See in front of us. Only five people allowed to stay here. Can you oh, just really? hold that a second? It, it's actually a camper. A camper. Um, let me just get the pictures up. Wrong phone. Oh, bear with me, yeah? It's worth waiting for. Here, it's called... So I've just taken all these pictures. It's called, it's a Campra accredited air. Scar Park air. So it's £10. You can just come and uh, fill up with water and empty your toilets for a fiver as well. Uh, next page, it tells you what to do and what not to do. It says, park up at least four metres away from any other vehicle. Well, to be honest, we're going to be probably about 20 metres away from anyone else. <laughs> Maybe more. Uh, keep the noise down after 10 p.m. and make sure you pay before you leave and say hello to your neighbours. I like that rule. <laughs> uh, no more than five vans here. Don't leave any litter, even in a bin bag. No barbecues or fires. Drinking water located behind the water trough. And if you want to pay by cash, there is an honesty box underneath the water trough. You leave your money in there and you WhatsApp some guy to let him know you've left it there. <laughs> brilliant. So there's no trash, but every other facility is available, which is brilliant Seems then, isn't that way, it? yeah. Yeah. Do you want to take them out and just show yeah. them? The, the thing is, oh, I just wanted to show them the map. That's why I gave you it. Just so they can see from overhead. So this is what the place looks like, if you can see it. It's an old... It says RAF Wigbay Seaplane Base. So you've got all these little bits and it's just five of these six on the end here which you can use and that's where we are. Uh, yeah, we did stop somewhere else, didn't we? No, we didn't. We were going to go somewhere else but it was down quite a long single track road. I didn't want to risk it. 
We're near Stranra now, where we know there's a lot of boy races around between yeah. Stranra and Air. I don't really want to be in a lay by, so no. I says let's just pay a bit of money and be safe. And we are. We are perfect. Ready for tomorrow as well. I just ready for tomorrow. If we don't stay another night and go for a walk in the woods, that's up to you. Could do. We'll see. Yeah. Or we could go to them two gardens and come back here. There's only two, this guy was here at the same time as us, so three more can be here tonight. And there is a forest over there which you can walk around, so I don't know. See how we get on, but loving it. Little tip. Little tip. Take a photo of the QR code while you're up at the gate. Yes. Because if not, you've got to walk all the way back to it once you've parked there. Like he did. He did. <laughs> uh, I didn't, because I took all the pictures. Well, well, that was a perfect little stopover, wasn't it? I've never felt so secure in my life. It was brilliant and really nice. And if you looked behind us, you could see like the big ships coming in and everything. So that was quite nice. Felt secure. Yeah, 10 quid a night. Perfect. It was actually four of us last night. <coughs> yeah, and five are, oh. five are allowed. I think it's a little bit same rules as a CL site. Yeah. It's only allowed five because there's a room here for dozens and dozens oh gosh yeah. yeah uh right today we're not doing anything as such <laughs> we're just gonna travel we had big plans for today and the place we were planning to go to we've actually been planning to go there before we even set off for scotland and we're actually going to skip it all now today yeah we want so to get on to the next peninsula yeah the weather isn't great today so yeah it's been raining it's just gonna be a drive but it should be some nice scenic stuff to see as yeah. well and we'll end up in a forest and we can go shopping yeah we're gonna go shopping it's it's quite a long drive today so if we don't do it today we have to do it tomorrow anyway and since it's raining we may as well just skip the day and just get there mightn't we we might as well we yeah. might as well right we're gonna drive down and sort the van out waters and stuff like that and head off see you soon see you in a minute oh bless him <laughs> It's absolutely tipping it. I've had to get out and do a couple of the gates, but now he's had to get out and do the water and toilets and stuff, so he's going to get drenched, bless him. I feel like a farmer, you know. <laughs> I feel like I've done a day's work. To get there, you have to open three gates to keep the sheep in and keep the cows in. And then there's a the toilet emptying and the water filling and all that lot. But this last gate, as we were coming through, must have been someone who was staying on there last night have left it open. Yeah, yeah. And there was a little calf just coming towards the exit of the field. So I had to speed up a bit to scare him off so he wouldn't go through the gate. And I've just shut the gate. He'd have gotten away if it weren't for. Yeah. Could have all gotten out. That was lucky. But anyway, we're all done. Yeah, we're all done. Well done you, because you got a trench then, didn't you? Bless you. I did a little bit. <laughs> all right now. All right, let's hit the road. Fuck a shimmering in Alistair, fuck a shimmering in Amish, fuck a shimmering in Alistair, be it the mirror, he hill, like fuck a shimmering in Alistair, fuck a shimmering in Amish, fuck a shimmering in Alistair, be it the mirror, he hill, a crying yard, skippled a crying, skippled a glazed a crying yard, skippled a be it the mirror, he hill, a crying yard, skippled a crying, skippled a glazed a crying yard, skippled a be it the mirror, he hill, it's up with the sitters of sulker, done with the arrow of human, here is the old. The prolad is the weird, the single soul shouldn't. It's up with the setters of Selkirk, the epith trusty and lil. And up with the lads of the forest and doing with the mers of the deal. Crying yar, skippled the crying, skippled the glazed the crying yar. The fair is on at Stranra! Yep, looks like the fair is on in Stranra. I don't know though, I remember it being there last time we were here, so maybe it's always there. Might just be the time of year it does come, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Go on then, tell us a little story. Well, I went fishing there with my Uncle John once. Yep. And he, he could cast it out a mile, you know. He was really good at fishing. And every time he pulled it in, he was catching like seven fish at a time. Big fish. I don't know what kind of fish they were. Little fish? Big fish. And little fish. Big fish. <laughs> All right. 
and uh, he'd leave them all at the side and he kept telling me to put them in the bag, right, because he took them home and ate them. Yeah. But I didn't realise they weren't dead. So I went to pick one up and it like squiggled, it did the death, you know, the the fish thing. Yeah. And I screamed like a girl. And my uncle John shouted at me. He just get him in bag. <laughs> I haven't been fishing with him since. <laughs> so we've got a big Stena line out there and a P and O. We just passed the P and O port. And this is the Stena line port. So apparently you can get to Ireland from here. Which I never knew that actually, if I'll be quite honest. Stan Ra used to be the main place to go to Ireland from. Oh really? We've just about made it. We've come to the proper part of Scotland where the lochs are and the hills are and it's cool. It's so much more prettier, isn't it? It's yeah. taken all day though. <laughs> as soon as you get past Loch Lomond, you can feel it. Past yeah. the double carriageway, it's, it's just single tracks, not single tracks, but single roads Look how and locks. Beautiful it is. We're parking less than a mile away from here. Yeah. In the forest. We're probably not going to be able to see anything like this, but. I just hope we're nice. going to get a parking space. We've been on the road for nearly five hours now. You're only allowed um, three park ups there. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, no. And as it's been late in the day now as well. Oh, fingers crossed. Settled on a spot. So we're right next to the water. I can hear water. Looks like a bit of a burn down there. So it did say on the uh, forestry thing, go to the back car park. This is the car park, uh, up to three. Now, firstly, first I, I went that way. But if you do that and two more go that way, then you might not get round them. So I thought, well, if I go that way and then one can go behind me that way and one on that side, that's the best way to be, surely. So we're staying there. We might even stay a second night, who knows. Well, yeah, that were an hard drive, that, honestly. On a map from Stranra to here doesn't look far at all. But it took us as long as it did from Yorkshire all the way up to Scotland. But we've done it now. We're into the bit I want to be in and we can start enjoying it properly. So we, you know, we've done around the Galloway Peninsula, which was cool. Saw some good stuff, some things never seen before there. Um, but now we want a bit of peace <laughs> away from people. Too many people that way. Um, and not a lot around here. So I think we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to see if there's any walks around here and do a walk in the morning. Are you happy? Yeah, brilliant. <laughs> We've got us... The long drive was worth it. <laughs> I we... think we made the right decision. We did. We? We've got us water filled up. We've emptied us grey waste. We've got all empty toilets. No rubbish. No rubbish. A load of shopping. Load of shopping, including fresh stuff for tonight. Let's get in. Oh, it's not here, is it? Cooked chicken. Cooked chicken. Which is still actually pretty warm. Come with me, I'll show you what else we've got. So what else did we get? Ah, oh, we got some... We decided to risk it. Now this fridge is out of battery now. But we thought we'd risk getting some meat for tomorrow and hope it's okay. Um, and a bag of ice underneath. So we've gone for a curry pack for tomorrow. We're going to enjoy a curry together. So that'll be a nice treat. And for today we're having the chicken. We've got some mashed turnip. It's just easier to buy them in packs. Some chips for tomorrow as well. They'll go with the curry. Uh, so we've got mashed turnip, mashed potato, broccoli with a cheese sauce, quite a lot really haven't we, and potato dauphinois, never heard of it, 
Barber's Vintage Cheddar. That look, it just sounds delicious. So we're having all four of them. No, three of them. With um, a cooked chicken and gravy. You know, you don't have to eat rubbish when you're on the road. So we've got some ice in there. I need to put some of these things back in. Make sure they stay cool. And I want a couple of beers on there. I can have a cold-ish beer tonight. So whoever was here before us has left, left rubbish. Not happy because everyone's going to think that's us. New Tesco pop. And a nice mushroom. You know, you shouldn't be leaving it on there. People want to eat on there. Look, there's even a, a barbecue tray thing there. So we've just looked at the walk. Mazzy keeps talking about a waterfall. Are we near the waterfall? Can you see the waterfall? It says there ain't a waterfall. It's just a stream. A burn. Ugh. Yeah, the walk. I've just looked it up. Oh, what the hell. No, it can't be. I thought someone had emptied their toilet cassette there but no I'm pretty sure it's just the leaves have gone all yucky um, yeah there's a one and a half mile walk which sounds perfect and it says moderate so there's no hills and it's the river walk or stream walk or burn walk or something like that so we'll do that in the morning that should be fun yeah it's a nice spot is this we're happy with it I wish the car park had been a little bit more suitable, it's a bit, I don't know, just trying to fa find the right angle, I do feel like we're going down to his heads a tiny bit, and I don't like blood rushing to the head, I don't mind it the other way around, but I don't like it that way, um, we should have parked at this side, maybe, but she's got all the cooking on now, speaking of cooking, what's, where's my tea, I can smell it already, How's my tea doing? Do you know what? That's dedication for you though. I haven't sat down since we arrived, have I? Onion gravy, made. Yeah. Just needs uh, kind of reheating and all the veg all prepped in there and I'm just about to now slice the chicken up. Am I having that warm? Yeah, well I can have it, you can have it warm, yeah. It is warm, but I was going to stick it back in the oven. Yeah, I'd still like to, it warm. But I want to pre-pack the rest of it for little yeah, okay. cookies later, because we're not going to eat all this, are we? I will. <laughs> i got some posh bread again. I do, I've do. i started getting posh bread instead of the cheap rubbish. Oh, Orvis seeded yeah, batch. Yeah, we do like that. I'll show you what I, I, I'm addicted to now, right? I've got three packs of these today. <laughs> well fried morning rolls. I'll tell you why as well, because they've got a really long shelf life. So. Excellent. Well, you can have a chicken sandwich later on in one. Yeah, they have got a long shelf. Yeah, that'd be lovely with mayonnaise. Yeah, if there's any left. We've actually got tomorrow's dinner planned. Curry? Yeah, oh, you've told her. Curry and chips. Yeah, yeah, I've been working whilst you've been... Mm. Losing about in, sat, in here. Literally, I got off that chair, came in here, sorted the bed out, got the kettle, did all... I haven't sat down. Have I, though? Have I been sat down? <laughs> have you Have you been seeing what I've been doing? I've been walking around, showing you things, talking about things, doing did you things. Did show them that big mushroom on the bench there? I sh just showed them the mushroom, yeah. Oh, work, work, just... work, work, work. I haven't been out there yet. I, all I do know, though, is a dog has dropped its bits right outside oh, the van. Don't tell me that. So it is a forestry commission park for the night spot. There's, they're doing some of them till the 31st of October. Um, so it's seven pounds. I think seven pounds 20 if you do it online or something, I don't no know. No facilities. No facilities yeah. whatsoever, but we don't need any. Uh, just wanted to give a thank you. I haven't replied, sorry, I'm, I'm useless. As you'll find out now, you're my friend. Uh, Tristan Kez. Oh, yes. Uh, sent me a big list of places to go. Thank you very much. One of them was Arden Tinney Beach Stay the Night Scheme. Now, I've looked on the website. That ain't on it. 
So whether they've stopped it for the year now, I don't know, but that's where I was going to stop today, but because of that, we've stopped somewhere else. Yeah, Tristam actually has like a website, doesn't he, that shows you all like these free spots, spots and stuff like that. Park it's where he's like been, that. his experience, and he yeah. shares it all online. He shares yeah. it all on like this uh, particular website. You'll have to get over to their channel and check out, see if you can follow their, their thingy. Yes. Talking about uh, facilities, though. Yes. We were discussing today, 10 days today. Yeah. Well, we've got a neighbour. We've got a van. Yeah, we've still got... Uh, what have we got on that one? 57% on that one. That little one's dead and 46 on that one and we've still got another full size one left so we can a massive a big we might one. even get another 10 days yet without needing we, we literally could without needing uh, a yeah. campsite and bear in mind we don't have an inverter as well for those that don't know that so we've, we've been doing really well a big thank you to a few people who mentioned a tv series called 2000 acres of sky um, which was filmed in Port Logan. Uh, I haven't watched it. I, I, I was out of it last night. Dead to the world as soon as I put were. my head down. We both were, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's got Michelle Collins in it and Paul Kerr. If anyone's interested, thank you for letting me know about that. Right, join us tomorrow where the adventure continues. But more of us. Yeah? Definitely more of us. Oh yeah, we'll be in it. <laughs> we'll be in it, sorry. Right, we're a little bit knackered now, so... It's been a long, hard day, yeah. is that one? Yeah. Bright and early tomorrow. tomorrow. See you soon. Bye. Don't forget to comment and click like and, and subscribe. Bye-bye. <laughs> Ow.